We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We're a chance to catch it up. We're a chance to New Japan review for these New Japan past reviews. As we start off with this new beginning in Osaka from February 9th, 2020. Osaka, Japan. That was in a different venue this time. Of Osaka Joe Hall. With the attendance of 11,411. Uh, I was going to say <laughs> different uh, promotion of that, but um, New Japan uh, fans, I should say, in attendance. And just here we go. Let's get to it. Welcome, on, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube. Here we go. Before we start, you know, as usual, we'll continue these New Japan Pro Wrestling matches. They're all from good and best. And one of them was actually great. I'm going to get to that when we get to it. So here we go. The opening match was Tens Tenkozi. Tenkozi. Which is Hiroyoshi Tenzan and Satoshi Kojima. And they team up with the Blue Justice, uh, y Yuji Nagata. And they team up with uh, Nanabu uh, Kananishi. Uh, and they defeated um, Takuchi uh, Japan, which is uh, Ryusuke uh, Takuchi, uh, Tonya uh, Hanori, Tamaki Hama, and uh, Toki Makabe in a six man tag team match. That was also one of um, uh, Nanabu uh, Naka Nishi's uh, final matches uh, because he was, he, was he was retiring in that year. Uh, and that's the seven minutes and nine seconds. Decent. Uh, yeah, but yeah, um, it was um, Manabu on uh, Nakaishi's um, teams that the one that won. So then we get to Rapunki 3K showing Yo uh, defending their IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. That's at 16 minutes and 22 seconds. Representing for Chaos, being copied by who's also representing for Chaos, Rocky Romero, defeating Suzuki Goon, which it was um, Yoshimobu uh, Kan Kanamura. And El Desperado, um, good match. Um, with Punky 3K retaining. Then we get to an uh, eight man tag team match that lasted 10 minutes and 50 seconds with Kode Ibushi teaming up with um, Takuchi Japan, which will uh, feature Hiroshi Tanahashi, David Finley Jr., and Juice Robinson defeating Bullet Club, which will feature the, the Crown Jewel Chase Owens, the Tokyo Pimp. Uh, Yujiro Takahashi, uh, the Silverback, and I, I remember his, all his nickname, the Silverback, Tanga Lola, and the good bad guy, uh, Tama, Tama Tonga, being covered by Jado and Peter. Peter is, a, uh, is the, uh, the one who's wearing a leather, leather um, outfit, you know, bikini, I should say, a, a, a leather bikini outfit with a, a leather uh, bunny mask. And she's Jap she's Japanese. She's a she's a hot Japanese chick by the way. I follow her on Instagram. She's married to um I, I, yeah, I think they're married. Uh to, to Balak Fale. But she's um basically playing um the um the hoe for the Tokyo Pimp. To uh yo Yujima uh, Takahashi. Um but yeah, she's a uh, part of Bullet Club though. And they got their own you know, personal stripper being part of Bullet Club. And again, she's married to Balak Fale. Again, I'm assuming they're, they're married. Uh, cause I remember the, uh, those two are, are, are an item, so. But anyways, the point is, the, uh, the faces won. So, there you go. And it was a good match. We get to Chaos. Which will feature the, um, the assassin. Because he means, uh, he means be once called the, the aerial assassin. Even though he's still doing some aerial moves. The aerial assassin, though. This, you know, all the assassin, which I want to say. Of Will Osprey. And the Rainmaker, Kesusuko Okada, defeating Suzuki Goon, which it features Zack Sabre Jr. and Taichi, being accompanied by Miho Abi. So, yeah, it was actually, it was actually Miho. Uh, she is the wife of Taichi. And she is beautiful. And she is drop dead gorgeous, too, by the way. She's not, she's not, she doesn't got the type of body like, um, like Peter does, but she's all, she's also, oh my god. 
I'll follow her on Instagram too, by the way. Yeah. But that team match, 11 minutes and 50 seconds lasted. And it was a good match. Uh, again, Chaos, Chaos won. Then we get to the Switchblade, Jay White, representing for a Bullet Club being covered by Ghetto uh, in a special singles match against Cosco Sanada, representing for Los Inca Bonaves de Abon. 21 minutes and 52 seconds. Match was good. With Jay White, you know, obviously with Jay, Jay White winning. Um, and there you go. Then we get to um, uh, the Ticking Time Bomb, who's also the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Uh, defending it uh, the title as well. The last of 23 minutes and 54 seconds. Uh, representing for Los Inco Bolares de Apon, Hiromo, Hiromo Takahashi. And he def uh, goes up against our Ryu Lee, again, who was once called Dragon Lee, but he's still called Dragon Lee though. But in Japan, he's, he's Ryu Lee. Uh, where it tends to him being a Ring of Honor though, he is uh, Dragon Lee. So he's two having a match, um, their match from, they have back in 2018. And it and they and they're having it here again. Now, obviously, with uh, the whole thing happened in twenty eighteen. Um, he suffered a neck injury. You know, uh, Takahashi he suffered a neck injury because of Dragon Lee back in twenty eighteen, which it was Dragon Lee's fault, by the way. I remember um, you know, the move that he did very clearly to uh to Romo Takahashi, where he had a uh, a neck injury that took him out of, sh uh, of action for uh, a year plus a couple months. Which is a damn shame, because Takahashi, uh, yo, he's one of uh, everyone's favorites in, in pro wrestling, not just for New Japan, but for also uh, 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 the eyes of, of of the casuals and Americans uh, of pro wrestling, and uh, and I'm sure sure from other, uh, other others in the world too. And the fact that uh, this had had to happen to uh, Takahashi because of Dragon Lee's uh, mess uh, mess up that he did, of a move, a move that he did, uh, caused. Caused him uh, a year and, and um and, and a couple of months of uh, of his of his wrestling career, but he has to come back and stronger than ever. And this is um the, basically the rematch, and they and they basically teased the whole thing where um Ryu Ryu Lee was gonna uh do that move again. And I said myself, well he better he better mess up this time if he's gonna do it, because um I still thought I, was, I just I just, I still thought that was fucked up that he messed that he messed that move up because you know after you know because before uh he messed that move up. He never I messed up that move before until he, he messed up on I guess to to uh to Takahashi. It was during that um the fighting spirit. I'm seeing I I think that's what it was in you know, in in the United States that happened though. But yeah, it was it was uh it was very bad. Very bad. But uh Romo uh, you know, he he came out stronger than ever, which is good. And in the end, Romo Takahashi got the win. You know, even though Romo Takahashi got the win on here as well, back back um when he uh, fought against uh Ryus, uh, you know, Dragon Lee, I should say, um, you know, from where uh, I think it was Fighting Spirit. I, I, I'm assuming it was Fighting Spirit from back in 2018. Uh, Roman won the match too, by the way. Even though he had a, he had a broken neck, he still won the match. He still won, he still continued the match and everything, and still won the match. And here we are again, where Roman talked about winning, which I'm glad he did. Um, so not against Dragon Lee, not against uh, you know, Ryu Lee, whatever you want to call him by, um, you know, but that's just me, um. But it's whatever. It was a good match though. Good match between the two. Um Then we get to John Moxley defending his uh, IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship title. Uh that's the seventeen minutes and sixteen seconds against uh Monroe Suzuki representing for Suzuki Goon. Moxley uh, came you know, his entrance is always coming for the crowd. And Moxie dares Mono Suzuki comes at, to come after him, and that's what he, that's like what happened. This was that's, this was not just a work, yeah. You know, so they start rolling into the crowd, and then they start fighting uh the way back at, at ringside. And this was not just a regular match, folks. These guys were killing each other with uh with chairs and all that. And these these guys were killing each other in this match, and it, it, and it was great, great match. Uh, first time ever between uh Mono Suzuki and John Moxley, and it was great. In the end, it was John Moxley getting the win over Mono Suzuki. And and there you go. After the match, though, Zack Sabre Jr. attacks John Moxley, and he basically won the challenge for the United States Championship title. Unfortunately, that didn't happen because you know, if you all know, what happened in 2020, everything went to hell because of the damn pandemic. Thanks a lot, Trump. Anyways, main event: Tetsuya Naito, who is the IWGP Heavyweight Champion and the IWGP Intercontinental Champion. Double champion 
um, first ever double champion in Japan, in Japan Pro Wrestling history from, from last year. Tetsuya Naito, the representing, representing Los Ingo Bolavias de Apon, defended against Kenta, representing Bullet Club. That's a 35 minutes and 50 seconds. Great match. Best, and, and also, it, it, it was one of, um, you know, Naito's best matches with Kenta. And in the end, it was Tetsuya Naito getting the win over Kenta. And after the match, uh, uh, by the way, there was an outside inference too, by the way. Um, I can't remember um, the, uh, um, who, who was from Bullet Club that, um, that interfered. Maybe like like, like a Ghetto, a Jado, and maybe uh, you know, you, uh, Yujiro um, Takahashi. And then we get uh, Hiromo, Hiromo Takahashi coming out uh, for the save and everything. And then later on, after the 9 to 1, he calls out um, you know, Hiromo Takahashi because it was going to be Tetsuya Naito versus Hiromo Takahashi. Um, I don't remember what uh, event it was supposed to be at from last year. They were supposed to, they were supposed to have it under the towel match for, for, both, for both belts because it was, it was supposed to be uh, Naito and uh, Takahashi's, um, you know, you know, Hiromo and, and Tetsuya's, um, you know, match, you know, two best friends, you know, since, since, um, since their days in high school, um, and they was going to have it on their dream, their own dream match, I forgot what, uh, what venue was supposed to be in, they was going to do it, unfortunately, that happened, because, as we all know, it happened in 2020, everything went to hell, everything went to hell, so we, uh, we were, we were, basically, we were basically robbed, of everything that we was gonna get between you know two best friends uh in the same uh, faction and and we will see uh the dream match that we never got to see unfortunately so it's a it, it is a damn shame but anyways but that was the show um great great show it was as as usual the tomorrow rest um actually not, there's no there's nothing to go for that um but my overall thing for the show though I'm gonna go with a 9 out of 10. Great show. And just a great showman of pro wrestling as usual. And there you go, folks. I'm done. And now it's off to 2021. Uh, you know, for those results for the new uh, beginning. Um, which was in different locations. Which I'll get to that when we get to that review. But with that being said, thank you for watching for this Natural Born Thriller. Saying, y'all stay well, stay safe, take care of yourself, earn dance going in the world, wear your mask. Wear your gloves, love one another, God bless one another, live in peace, and harmony for us all. For I am out here, talk to for now, as I say, peace on the streets to all you, and take care.